Dallas. On a hot and salty. It's good to hear you, man, on the inside. Today I got a quickie little video for you about our newest knife, the Skeleton Key, displayed thusly on my belt. Here it is. Comes with a tech lock. Comes with Kydex sheath, obviously. When you remove this knife from the sheath, you see we have this cutout here. That's for your thumb. And the finger groove fits down over top of where we have this Chicago screw. So almost naturally, you, it sort of comes up a little bit and out when you remove the knife. And when, you go, and when it goes back in, it sort of goes like that. It kind of sits down in and helps lock the thing in there. So removal of the knife. This is a hollow ground D2 tool steel knife, eighth inch thick. We'll have some close-up pictures there probably. So we have all the lightning holes in there and a large lanyard hole. This will allow you to do a multitude of things. Uh, first of all, it makes the knife a little bit lighter. So if you are going to run this as a necker without the tack lock, it's not as heavy. Nice and flat profile, again, without the tack lock. It'll fit under your shirt real good. Forward thumb ramp, so if you want to choke up on the knife, you can. Instead of having everything back here, let's say, it'll allow you to get a little bit more forward of a grip. Again, hollow ground, fantastic slicer, and being D2, it'll hold that edge a good while. This spine in the front of the uh, finger, ramp, the uh, thumb ramp, we have sharpened, like we do on everything, so it, it will throw spark from a fire steel. But back to these holes, though. Again, they, they lighten the knife, but also, if you want to attach this to a pole or something, get a little further reach, now you've got more than just a lanyard hole to mount it to that with a little paracord. You can also, speaking of paracord, you can paracord wrap the handle however you want. This was just kind of quick and dirty. This one has a uh, fire steel also weaved underneath, but doesn't need that. Threw a uh, cord lock on there too to snug up so that if you are working with some game, you drop the knife, you're doing stuff, you get the thing right back to hand something else you can do with it and also which I don't have an example here of we have yet to do it but you see these small holes on here they are drilled with a number 30 drill bit which means they will fit eighth inch pin stock which means you can put scales on this knife use the forward hole use the rear hole use all six little holes if you want you can put scales on here have another kydex sheath made so that it locks in around a set of scales you can do a lot with this knife. This is going to be our EDC offering, our everyday carry. So if you just run the thing like we sell it right out of the box with the tech lock, you can run it on your belt. It's obviously ambidextrous. You can put the tech lock on either side, cross draw, cross draw, scout carry uh, on a pack strap, take the uh, tech lock off and use the rivet holes to secure it to a pack. You can do a variety of things with this knife. So for the asking price of $92, you're getting a handmade knife, of course, D2 tool steel, a nice upgrade there, a tech lock, which is usually about 15 bucks, and Kydex sheath, handmade to the knife. So that's our EDC offering, the skeleton key. I'm Scooter, man on the inside. Thanks for watching. You still ain't through.